Welcome to Earth Organics Season 1, Episode 2. Today, we will be following up from Episode 1, where we mixed up all the minerals and nutrients at half-cup ratios. Um, if you would like to join and subscribe to my Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you can get all my recipes. You know, I'm uh, fairly newer to YouTube, so... I will be posting them as I go. I have one posted. It's my second one. I'm still working on typing up my first one that I used for my auto flowers, ice latte for mutant genetics. And we'll see how those progress along as well. Everything I do is living soil and I build it from scratch. I feel that's the best way to do it. So without further ado, we're doing it the coot style. One third, one third, one third. We got peat moss. Two and a half gallons of peat moss. We have Ali Mountain Fish Compost from Dill the Soil. I'm sure if you're on the East Coast, you can uh, source for from another place. It's the only place I can find it. And aeration. I like to use pumice and rice hulls. Pumice has, it's very light and it's porous. So it gives your microorganisms a basically a home to thrive in. So the rice hulls, I do a gallon of rice hulls and a gallon and a half of pumice. The rice hulls are gives it more silica too, and it's a uh, it breaks down slower over time. So. When I make my worm castings, I'm always adding in more rice hulls into my castings. So when I top dress, it's always getting more aeration. And we'll get into more videos on that later. But, so, I'm going to start packing the peat moss and get started. Also, if you guys like the merch, hats, sweaters, shirts, I can, uh... If I get a hundred likes, I'll start making some merch. And let me know in the comments below what you think about it, what colors you would like, and yeah. So, all right, let's get started. That's two and a half gallons of the peat moss. Just make sure some of these clumps are broken up at the top here. Thank you. 
and half of compost. Okay, every little bit we can want to save that nutrients. That's a good mix before I start adding my aeration to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when you have a cement mixer, it's best to keep it at an angle to where it's almost just about to fall out. And that brings the clumps that haven't been broke down up to towards the surface to where you can break them up by hand if you'd like. Which I'm going to take the liberty of doing that. Just a couple small ones. It seems I've got most of them. That's good. Now remember, this is not wet. And peat moss is very hydrophobic. So you want to use, I use a 10% ratio when I first make a soil, especially when it's dry. So usually when you're just watering, you will, I stick with a 5% ratio, unless it's like under 25% if you have an eco wet heat. So food for thought. Now, Time to get some aeration going in there. I had already mixed the rice hulls and pumice together just for the sake of the video, and we don't like saving time. Seems like a fairly good mix to me. Alright. I'm going to keep it at a slight tilt. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to slowly add in the nutrients. Okay, so let's talk about what we have in here. And if you don't got one of these, I suggest getting it. This is the cheaper one, but man, that pump spraying stuff, is that's for the birds. It's an automatic sprayer from uh, Petra Tools. I recommend getting the big one. Uh, Can of Beard Grows, he has one. And I wish I would have made the investment to get that one. But this works just as well. It just takes a little longer to spray. Yeah. So that's really the only downfall. So what I got in the spray mix is these products over here. 
Now, normally, I would have root-wise microbes in there. But the reason why I don't is because I have two cups pre-charged biochar, which has this in it. So, I'm more on the use less is more and always add more later if needed. So that's why I just wanted to bring it out here and show it to you that if you don't have biochar or if you do and it's not charged, just add some of this. Because you want you really want to get this it's a fungus to grow. Because it really takes 90 days to set in. So the sooner you can get that inoculated and the seed in the soil, the best it is going to be for you. That's why reusing and no-till is phenomenal. Now we have saponins. I usually use 60, but I decided to use 20 today. I wanted to switch it up. And I have a little bit more extra of 20. This is J Plant Speaker from, it's a wetting agent from build a soil And I added C90. I haven't been using this much, so I figured I'd throw, I threw a heavy 8 teaspoon in there. And it's going to give me all my micro and macro, or all my micronutrients. And it's, yes, it's a salt, but it's, it's not going to hurt the microbes like people say. And it's derived from the seeds so it's 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 really good now I also added one shot glass of fermenting insect grass because of the or the chichin or cayenne or I don't know the word for it but it it basically protects against pests and also has ready available nitrogen and a few other good I also had a shot glass of Thrive Yahweh. Well, because it's got labs and instant available nitrogen helps speed up the breakdown process. And really all around just a good thing I feel to have in the mix. Now that's all I have in there. And I usually spray a full two gallons for a cubic foot and I let it cook for two weeks. So, I'm going to pause it so you guys don't have to watch me do this dreadfully painful process. Okay, now that that long drawn out process is finally over with, this is the kind of result that we are looking for. We grab it and we ball it up. You should just barely get a drop, and it should clump up, but not super clump. You don't want it to like sob together. You want it to stick, just like that. That's perfect. And that's my living soil recipe number two. You can find it on my Patreon at Earth Organics. You can be a normal contributor for two dollars a month or a heavy investor for five dollars a month at the top of my head i can't recall all of them but the main thing you get with being a heavy investor is you get one-on-one -on -one calling and emailing whichever you prefer and i think that is a big thing for everybody i know it would be for me when i was looking for answers so yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you liked what you see today. And if you would like to see some more, thank you very much. Earth Organics out.